professors that have been offered sexual favors by students or students that have offered sexual favors to professors. What happened? Not exactly being offered sexual favors for a grade, but when I was a tar in a certain small humanities department, there was this anonymous campus confession site that was a big trend with the undergrad students at our university. Lots of confessions about wanting to f certain professor slash tars. One day, a confession appeared on the page from a student who had a crush on a male tar from our department, which went into rather lurid detail about everything she, or he, couldn't tell, wanted to do to him, and it mentioned the tar's gorgeous blue eyes. I suppose the student didn't think that was too identifying, but they severely underestimated how small our department was. We had 10 graduate students total, 4 of whom were tarling that semester. I was one of them, but I'm a girl, and two of the guys had brown eyes. The only male tar with blue eyes was mighty uncomfortable and had to go through the rest of the semester knowing that one of the students in his section was sitting in class every day having elaborate sexual fantasies about him. I taught in a university for a while. I had a student in my Spanish class who was not doing well. I had a break after the class she was in and offered to help her for a minute and guide her so she could hopefully study more effectively. We stayed in the classroom with both doors and all windows wide open. I sat down next to her to go over some material, and about 10 seconds into it, she put her hand pretty high on my inner thigh. I pulled away and told her that it was inappropriate, and I wrapped up our meeting with some instructions on what she should work on. I left and had no interest in making a big deal out of it. A couple weeks later I had a colleague approach me and say that she had heard that I had made a pass at this very same student and that I had put my hand on her thigh and that she rejected me. I got out in front of it and didn't experience any repercussions, but that was a bit scary. I never helped another student anywhere but a public place on campus, like a cafe or in a park. Lesson equals learned. Mad feelings for this one professor. He had me collect the students of A's at the very end of the course. It was just me and him left, and it seemed like my perfect chance. Me, so I'm from city, if you're ever around there. Him evading, haha oh wow you're from there? That's cool. Me, right so if you're ever around that area, feel free to email me. Him, evading so hard, oh ho, woo up, me, just email me, if you ever wanna get coffee. And then he just started backing away from me shaking his head and going oh. Short story from someone I used to know. She was struggling in her astronomy class and went into office hours for the professor. She kept making hints and using body language to signal she was DTF. But apparently the prof just kept slowly moving the picture of his family on his desk further towards her until she left. I was the network admin at a 3,500 student university and had a girl ask me a couple of obviously leading questions about how the grading software worked and if I had access to it, I did but changes were audited, then leaning close to whisper in my ear, being careful to drag her breast against my arm as she did so that she would do anything I wanted if I would give her a B in a class she needed to graduate that spring. I also had an aunt offer me what she thought was the amazingly large sum of $500 if I would fabric a complete degree for the son of some church friend of her. The amazing thing is that two professors and one academic support staff lost their jobs trying to do the same thing sorts of stuff for students while I was there. Not a very exciting story, but here's mine. I was a lab instructor at a local college years ago. At the time, I had no control over grades, just attendance, and I could give opinions on students' work and such. No real power. Co-worker buddies and I would go out to a local club and we'd sometimes see some of our students there. One was kinda friendly with my buddies, since they had her as a student before me. I never talked to her, but she'd come around and say hi sometimes. We actually didn't have staff email addresses, so we'd give out our personal ones for students to ask questions and such. The student from the club starts emailing, mostly just asking questions about her project and such. Nothing untoward. Eventually, it starts getting a little flirty. She starts coming over and going out with us occasionally. We ended up hooking up when she had two weeks left in my class and like six weeks before graduation. We kept it pretty quiet, but people knew. Nobody seemed to care at all, but I think a lot of people just assumed we were together long before we actually were. 
We are coming up on 18 years together now. I'm a professor. I've only had one that was openly offering sex for a grade. A few others might have been hinting, but I steered the conversation away, and if they were, they clearly took the hint. I had a man, maybe early to mid 20s try to offer sex for a grade. At the time, I was maybe 27. He was failing, because he plagiarized his entire paper worth about 45% or the semester grade. I had called him to my office, to say I found it was plagiarized, and he was getting a zero. He knowingly submitted his assignment through safer sign. I spent part of the first class discussing plagiarism and consequences. Still he plagiarized. I have an option to file to have him expelled, but I've never done that. When he offered, he was so confident. He was acting like what an amazing offer for me. Now say this wasn't at the university, but we just met randomly at a bar and had never met. I wouldn't even let this guy buy me a drink. His confidence was 100%, at least on the surface. I shut him down quickly, and we went to the department chair and explained the situation. He had to sign a letter saying he understands his actions were inappropriate. It was filed with the college. No other actions were taken. He didn't try again. He kept attending and did an extra credit project that I offered to the whole class at the end of the semester. He passed with the lowest possible score. As a grad student, I had a professor proposition me. In exchange he offered to put me on several of his upcoming publications. I declined. Another student in the department was suddenly on six of his papers and she got a grant from the department for being top student in number of publications. He was married, super religious type of guy too. Back in high school I saw a girl I knew walking around drunk in the middle of a shopping center, so I offered her a ride home. We had a math class together, and she asked me if I thought our teacher was weird. I didn't think he was. She then told me how he lent her lunch money one day and to pay him back she tried to f*** him, but he turned her down. For something as little as lunch money, it shook her that he turned her down. I then had to turn her down in exchange for the ride home. Now she probably thinks I'm weird. School excursion. 12th grade. Germany. Most were around 18 by then. That one girl told us that she's about to get her grade upped by f***ing the teacher who was with us and went over to his room. Five minutes later, that teacher came knocking on our door, the room where most of us were just having a small party drinking and smoking pot, and we all panicked. After about 10 seconds we had hidden most of the harder stuff and opened the door to see our teacher entering with a bottle of whiskey in his hand. No booze here. I thought you're having a party? After 15 minutes and about a quarter of that bottle, he left us again and told us to have an eye on that girl because she will surely not be happy with the grade he will give her and that trying to f*** him wouldn't make it any better. It took us a long while to understand that he came over to make sure we all learn about that story and give him an alibi. Not me but a professor friend of mine. Was older guy in late 40s teaching a business MBA class. Student in her late 30s gives him a card after exam grades were in saying she has liked him all semester and would like to go out with him. That was like 11 years ago. They have been happily married for 9 years now. My friend is an adjunct professor of psychology and very very gay. He would tell me of at least 3 freshman girls a year who would offer to do anything for a better grade. He would recommend better studying habits. Not a professor, but I used to work at the math tutoring center at my college. I was a student also. I occasionally took on private tutoring jobs to make a little extra cash. Usually it was people from the tutoring center who liked me as a tutor and wanted more one-on-one -on -one time at their house or wherever. It's nice to have a tutor on call when you're struggling with homework. Anyways, this girl calls me and I agree to tutor for X amount per hour at her house. We meet up, she's gorgeous, and the tutoring goes well. I become her personal tutor for the next couple weeks and the money is good, but one day as I'm leaving, she makes a move and it leads to sex. It was awesome, and then our tutoring sessions from there on out basically ended in 6, but she stopped paying me. The dynamic had changed, and I felt awkward asking for money. But I was basically getting paid in 6, I ended up getting more tutoring gigs from private clients who wanted to bang me, and after a while it all felt like I was this math tutoring gigalo. But I wasn't getting paid, and I was wasting my time. 
I was an adjunct instructor at a small regional college and a female student had tried multiple times to get on my good side for a better grade. First she brought in donuts, then pizza, and finally one day she stayed late after class and suggestively asked if there were other ways she could improve her grades. Being a socially inept male, it took a little bit for that to sink in but once I got the idea I kindly asked her to leave. She did and I thought that was that. Except it wasn't. Turns out she reported me for sexual harassment. Nothing ever came of it however, since she ended up getting into trouble, drugs I think, and dropped out of school. Even still it was a very scary moment for me, and factored into my decision to leave teaching and pick a different career. I had a biased its prof who consistently gave this one attractive blonde high grades despite her average performance on exams. Two other male classmates caught wind of this and confronted the professor. He denied any wrongdoing and even convened a class-wide meeting to address the accusation. Five years later, he was arrested and convicted of sexual assault. He apparently groped a female student in his office. My brother is a professor at a large state school. He was propositioned so many times by students that he and the other three professors in their office suite agreed to arrange their office hours so that none of them would ever have to be alone with a student, female or male. Seriously. When I was 19 I was part of a performing improv troupe and we'd also run workshops for actors and improvising. One summer we did a workshop at a high school. A few of the girls decided I was cute and began a competition to see how far they could go with me. It got more and more uncomfortable and sexual assaulty until finally the girls were trying to take my belt off. It was trouble and I had to go to their principal and ask for help. Finally those three girls were asked to leave. There was then a huge uproar as they told their parents I'd been hitting on them, and when they refused to have sex with me, they were kicked out. Cops were called. Parents came to school. Lawyers were called. The three girls were actresses, so they were f***ing convincing. They had me doubting myself and my interpretation of the events. It was so convincing. Fortunately there were 30 other kids in that workshop who told the cops and parents the truth. It was a scary situation and I've avoided even the appearance of inappropriateness for the 29 years since then. Also, f*** those three lying little sh**s. I hope they got fat.